Hey, what's happening guys? Coming at you today from downforsoundshop.com. We're gonna go over a quick little overview of the difference between like lithium cells and your standard kind of, well, this isn't a standard car, uh, car battery, but it's more close to a typical battery that most people are used to, which is gonna be your AGM or your absorbed glass matte style of battery. Uh, and then you have right here in front of us is gonna be some LTO cells. We run these in uh, the Tahoe. And then over here we have another type of LTO. LTO, it should say on the side, uh, say lithium titanate uh, right here. Uh, LTO, lithium titanate oxide. Sorry, we're trying to keep this logo up there for you guys to see, there we go. Um, but anyway, same like chemistry for these. There's a ton of different lithium chemistries out there. Uh, we, like I run the LTO because it's been deemed to be the safest in our eyes. And I've seen, uh, I'm gonna get hate for this, but I really couldn't care less. <laughs> so, um, I've seen so many C-Max batteries catch on fire and burn people's cars down uh, and several other chemistries as well. I have not seen that with LTO. So uh, I'm not saying it can't happen or whatever, but I've seen it a lot with certain ones, especially C-Max. So, but people are always wanting the cheapest stuff out there and they went cheap they burn their vehicle down and they point the finger at something else um, so anyway that's why i use these cells in my tahoe and uh, we offer this lto 6.0 in this style of battery because and we've had awesome luck with them so uh, anyway AGM is known to be very durable and has a good reserve, but it's heavy and people usually swap to lithium because they're wanting to get a lot more power for less room taken up and less weight. So a lot of people care, compare our LTO 6.0 battery to the excess power D3400 as far as output. So this weighs i think about four or five pounds and this weighs about 60 pounds and you can see how much size difference there is between the two and to have a similar uh voltage like say this is a 12 volt setup if you want a 12 volt setup with this you would want to uh be running five or six of these cells can't remember off the top of my head again i don't know everything but um anyway so you can see if you had we'll just say six if you had six of these it'd be like a little six pack right here and uh, it wouldn't take up near well quite as much room as this but you'll get a lot more power out of six of these cells than you do this uh, six of these cells is going to give you two to three be kind of the equivalent to two to three of these batteries so and it largely depends on your alternator input so also take that into account same with this battery the only way that you could compare these two is this isn't going to be a reserve style of battery you always have to have your vehicle running for it to work properly this agm battery is going to have a decent a lot more reserve than this in comparison but if you're always going to have your vehicle running which if you're running car audio you need to because it's just a bad idea to try to run car audio with the engine off never works out good so anyway uh, always have your vehicle running and people have had great luck with running one two or six or ten of these in comparison to these because you save so much weight and space so that's going to be your biggest thing is space and weight savings and again you get a lot more power if i was to like for instance if i was to have my build that i have with my tahoe and try to do it with this style of battery i would literally have to have a trailer of batteries that i pulled behind the truck to power all the amplifiers in there because it just it takes so many of these to do the job that these can do like so fewer of these can do the same job that's why i mean i have a massive bank of these i mean we'll put that up on the screen right here so you can see it but i have a massive bank of them but that having that and i also have all those amplifiers six 15 or 16 different amplifiers in that truck and it's all still able to be put in there and in one vehicle if i had agm or the lithium technology hadn't got to where it is today 
I would have to have a trailer and pull the batteries behind me or the power in the Tahoe would have to be a lot less. If you've been following me for a long time, I used to have batteries like this, the 3400s or, or the 3100s. I had 10 of them across the back of the uh, truck. And I think at that time I had five Sundown 4500s, a lot less power, and it struggled on voltage with 10 of these and uh, five of the Sundown, like basically 5Ks. So now I have nine JP83s, six JP10.4s, and a JP454. So anyway, uh, that's kind of an overview of the difference between AGM and regular style batteries and lithium batteries. Uh, lithium technology has come a long way when it first was coming around. There was a lot of people having bad luck with them and burning their cars down. Some people still do it. They're running like cheap, like the cheapest stuff that they can find. Um, I don't want to take that risk. I would rather pay a little bit more and get something that's a lot safer. But anyway, you can check out all these options on downforsoundshop.com. No matter which one you want to do, we offer it so you can like do your homework and decide and pick which one and we got you covered at Down for Sound. So if you need anything, hit us up, downforsoundshop.com. Don't forget about the Down for Sound difference. Guarantee lowest prices, fastest shipping, and best customer service. See you in the next one. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.